Well, it hasn't taken long and Paul's hooked up the first fish of the day. Come on now. How good is this? <laughs> I've never caught a decent breath and I still haven't yet. <laughs> so, you want to come in? Yeah, I guess that's Paul's definitely hooked up on a nice sized red. Snapper are bottom dwellers and tend to feed over rough reef and across gravel beds. They respond extremely well to burley and when hooked they run hard and deep providing a tough fight. With a characteristic double shake of the head before each run, you'll know when you've hooked a snapper. Oh look at that! Cook's got one with a lump on its head. Woo hoo! <laughs> Mate, that's a hey, personal best. It's my personal best about as big as his tail. <laughs> How good is that? That's my first ever snapper that's been legal. <laughs> All the rest of us are chucking back 29 centimetres. And look at that beauty. I've only been here about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and I'm into one. That's beautiful. Now the rig that we're using today to drift for snapper in 30 to 60 metres of water is really simple. It's a number five ball straight down onto a, a three or a four row circle hook. And remember we are on the drift, so you need a little bit of weight. A simple way to put it on is just simply go through the side of the pilchard, pull the hook right through, come down to the middle of the pilchard, do the same, pull the hooks all the way through, come over the top again and then just drop the hook in and turn it so it lays flat along the side of the pilchard and just pull your, your loose line up and then do a half hitch around the tail, drop the ball sinker down to him and there you it's go. It's a simple paternoster rig. Now we've got the paternoster rig uh, on another one of our YouTube clips which will show you exactly how to tie that. It's just a standard snapper sinker with a dropper of about 600 mil up to your hook. Okay, to that we've got a, a number two circle hook, and we're just putting beautiful pilchard baits on. A little half hitch around the top works well. So they'll be fished on the bottom. The other method we're using is a floating bait. Now we're going to fish probably a, a half pilly or a whole pilly. What I like to do is go through the eye twice because the the eye cavity or the bridge across the top of the eye is the strongest part in a pilchard. Then just tuck the hook just under the gill plate and roll and bring it back around so the point comes out. And then just tighten your main line. And there you have it. And on top of that we'll just have a small ball sinker. Now that'll float down through that burley that Paul's putting out. In fairly deep water. Bit of colour, nice little red. There we go. Oh, she's a beauty. And there we go. Nice snapper. Well, it looks like you got a good one this time, Paul. Not yet, mate. It's not in the no. boat yet, big fella. How was the run on that fish? Oh. He's coming up now. I think he's, uh, he might have had enough. I might get out of the way. Get me going. Landlord fish, that cool. There he is. He's a good fish, mate. Wow. Oh, that's a personal best, mate. Is it all right if I let this one go? You can do whatever you like, mate. You caught him. Okay, cool. As Terry said, we encourage that, mate. No, it's just a bigger a, fish. Just such a beautiful yeah. fish. At the spawning time. Yeah. There we go, guys. That's, a, that's absolutely amazing. Try and keep my fingers out there, gills there. I want to put this fish back because it's, it's just a beautiful creature and I've never caught anything like that before. Get some pictures of it, that'll do me. Just incredible, isn't it? 
Okay, let's get him back in. There you go, mate. He's lively, look at that. All right, the first thing we're gonna do before we gill and gut the fish is scale him. The snapper are really nice to eat with the skin on, I find. Especially if you're cooking a whole fish. So just take your time, working from the tail forward, and remove all the scales. Flip him over and do exactly the same to the other side. And remember to do under his belly. That's important. And around the front there, his gills. And the last spot you do is just at the back of the tail because there's some scales there that get stuck. And on top. Okay, once we've scaled him, we'll give him a good rinse. Okay, once you've rinsed him, and we got rid of all the scales, because that's been pretty important if you want to eat the fish, because you'll end up with scales everywhere. We just come in his backside, slide forward, nice sharp knife, and just take your time. Need a little bit of a firm pressure down so you can cut through this tough section up here. And just hold him up and cut down through here. Like so. Alright, once you open him up. Run the knife around the front of the gills and down. And the rest of that will come out by hand now. Bit of a messy job. But when you're out on the water it's fairly easy because you can give him a good wash. Last thing we do is just run the knife down the backbone and just release any of the blood under that membrane. Now I'll give him a good rinse. As you can see, nice and clean in there. All right, so that fish is ready to cook as a whole fish. It doesn't get any easier than that. Beautiful whole snapper. Now next week, remember to tune in for another fantastic clip. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys.